Hey, hey, Tony Gaskins here, popping in. Got a question about a man and his social media. Now, I actually have stayed away from this because I kind of was looking at it as something that's very trivial. And I remember years ago mentioning social media and just being brushed off by women like, oh, it's just social media and it doesn't mean anything. Who cares if my man likes someone picture or reposts someone? And, you know, women were just kind of blowing it under, I mean, brushing it under the rug. And of course, men are going to, you know, pretend it means nothing. And a lot of times it's because a, a woman just kind of has enough sense to not go to a man's page who has his shirt off showing his abs or posting a selfie trying to make you, make you lust after his cheekbones or something a woman kind of has enough sense not to go hit the like button on that picture even if she feels like that he's attractive so but then you have men who will see a woman that is half dressed or in something provocative or in a bathing suit or you know some type of picture that is kind of you know lustful and he'll go like the picture and then you have men who will strike up conversations with women on social media and talk in the dm you know hey like that picture hey you know, pretty cool. Tell me more about that place you visited. Strike up a conversation and these men are in a relationship. Married, got a girlfriend or fiance. And so it happens a lot. And there are commercials now being advertised that says, hey, one in five relationships today start online. And people are meeting online more than meeting in person in a, in a lot of ways today to be honest with you and when i say meeting online i don't necessarily mean un online dating i mean meeting people on facebook on instagram and it's a lot of cases even to where you get on facebook and you're bumping into an old classmate and then you're starting to date or starting to talk or build reconnect so to let you know, although you may have been in the boat with the people saying social media is meaningless and it means nothing, you actually wrong. Hate to break it to you. Hate the, you know, breaking news, news flash. Social media is very serious. It is very serious. It has a very serious implications and repercussions because it means something. So I want to help you understand this about men. Now, see, as men, we find any kind of way to shoot our shot. Before it was social media, you had to walk up to a woman. And then it went to having your friend walk up to the woman if you were too nervous. Then it went to passing a note in school or at work. You pass a note to say what you got to say. I remember when I was out there in the field, saw a woman i told the story in another video saw a woman that i was you know wanted to approach was a little intimidated by her because she looked a little hood and so i typed up on my phone you know i was in the mall young typed up on my phone hey hey i lost my voice so i can't speak but wanted to know if you would be okay giving me your number now, I could talk just as good as I'm talking now, but that was a little tactic because I was a little nervous, didn't know if my voice would crack, didn't know if I'd say something the wrong way, so just typed it up on a little flip phone, and, you know, it worked. So men will do anything. I remember when I met my wife later on in life, getting a little more serious, I went up to her jewelry stand and pretended that I wanted to buy some jewelry, didn't have a dollar to my name, could not afford them diamond charms she was selling. But I sat there and looked through every one of them like I had the money to buy something. And then at the very end, after I had to calm my nerves, my heartbeat had slowed down, I had to take my deep breaths. Then I said, do you have a boyfriend? 
shot my shot at the very end when I was getting ready to walk on off and was able to connect, get a phone number, and the rest is history. So I say that to say men use what we can use to get to a woman, whatever that takes, whatever it takes, whatever it takes. Men will use jewelry, men will use money, men will use their car, men will use their job. So guess what? Today, with probably 50, 60% of the world population online, then men using social media. And this is what you have to understand why social media is, is so dangerous, can be so dangerous, and it's such a hunting ground, is because most men were not raised and groomed to be a husband. So most men don't know what a wife looks like. Most men don't understand what he's looking for. If a man is honest with himself, a lot of men have to ask the question, well, what does a wife look like? Like, what should I look for in a wife? And guys have come to me and asked me that question. And it's, it's really honestly no real science to it. You're looking for a decent person that you can build with, that's gonna be honest, that's gonna be trustworthy, Somebody that's kind, humble, giving, forgiving, understanding, compassionate, you know, just a decent human being that you would want to be friends with, that you would want to be teammates with, that you would want to work on a project with in school, be coworkers with on the job. So it's just that. But when we go to looking for love, we make it a little more complicated than it should be. So men are actually paralyzed by fear they're sitting there and they're worried and they're wondering hey y'all hold on need a little commercial break just got a new hat and my head too big it's a little too tight on a commercial break uh -huh. all right back to regular schedule program y'all forgive me i gotta scratch this hat out a little bit my wife bought me two uh, four new hats but my head a little too big i gotta stretch and give me a headache can't, you know, I'm wearing a hat right now because I can't get no haircut in this hell situation we in. So understand this. Now men coming out and they're looking and they say, okay, where's my wife at? So here's the thing. And it's unfortunate. This is unfortunate. And but you have to understand this, and that's why that's why I try to tell women and help women learn how to protect yourself because it's unfortunate what's happening. So what's happening out here? is a man will be looking for a woman and he finds a woman and you seem like a decent person so he gets with you treats you like a queen courting you makes it official y'all all the way in y'all dating you going somewhere but he has instagram he has facebook whatever TikTok, snapchat Twitter, YouTube, whatever he's using. If he has social media, you have something to worry about. You have a few problems. So what happened is he's with you. Things seem to be going decent. You're a good person. You may be a good catch, but he may not know what he's trying to catch. He may not know what you pitching for him to catch. So, and that's because he just was not taught. He's unlearned in that area. So he gets online and he's looking around and it's like, hmm, this woman over here looks good. Ooh, mm, do I want that? Do I, okay, marriage, that's for life. This is what's going through a man's mind, okay? You ask to go in a man's mind, so don't be complaining about what you find, all right? Listen to me. So, hmm. I'm a butt man. She really got oh, kind of a little booty, but this woman over here, whoo, she got uh, some hams on her. Now, if I got to live out the rest of my days with a woman, do I want this or do I want that? Hmm. Whatever it is, it may be these, it may be that back there. It may be eyes, it may be lips, it may be height. It may be complexion, it may be hair texture, whatever it is that he is into, that he has been convinced or programmed to believe 
is beautiful, he's looking for that first. Men are visual creatures. He's looking for that first. So he get online, he sees that. So this is where stuff gets a little iffy at. And it's so many nuances to this. This video will be four hours long. I can't, I really can't go all the way into all of it, okay? Because you got different syndromes out here with these men too. But this is where stuff gets a little iffy. So what's happening is, is men have been raised by a woman 99% of the time. And when you raised by a woman, what that mom typically is going to do, or that grandma, or that aunt, she typically gonna cook, she's gonna clean, she's gonna, you know, take care of you, provide, she's gonna really just be like your eyes, ears, hands, and feet. Like, I remember my son got to a certain age and he'll ask my wife to open the ketchup packet. I grabbed that ketchup packet, I said, hold on, hold on, give me the ketchup packet. But, hey, listen, I do what you do. Uh huh, you put, uh huh, get it with the tea, uh huh, and uh -huh. Just like that, okay, ketchup packet open, here you go. So I, cause my wife, she'll run over and just do it for him. Like everything he need done, she'll do it, she'll do it, she'll do it. And I'm like, listen, at some point you got to start showing him how to do this. I know you want to be useful. I know you don't want to sit there and just watch him struggling doing it, but he got to learn. Cause the Lord call you home tomorrow. What he going to know? So I start telling her that she start showing him more stuff, teaching him more stuff because what a mom will do, a mom will just do it. A mom will just do it. She just take care of everything. But when it start getting older, and so most men, and that's me, see, a man bring balance. Me being in the home, being a father, I'm gonna see stuff a different way. So when he asking for stuff, your hand broke, your leg broke as a man. But guess what? A lot of these men raised by single mothers. So that mom, she just, let me hurry up and do this so I ain't got to be stressed with you trying to figure this out. And she does everything for him. So what you have today, is that's why you have a lot of grown boys because it's so many single mothers and it's so many mothers who are in unhealthy relationships that moms marry their sons. Moms will make their son their king, will make their son their husband and will serve their son hand and foot. So men today are spoiled and spoil rotten and that's why a man will give you his butt to kiss when you want to lay out some standards when you want to keep your legs closed when you want to do the right things it's so many men that have given you their butt to kiss because they spoil and they started with their mama and then it went on to these other women who were raised with no sense by people who told her you need to get you a man and get you a man with some money. So now this is the cycle. And this was social media. When you got weak minded people who are immature, who just grew and were not raised, social media is a disaster because everything is at your fingertips. And it's so much easier to shoot your shot, to make a connection and to just play the field. So when your man has a password on his social media that you don't know, you got problems. You're going to have some problems. Nine out of 10 times, you're going to have some problems. Okay. And even if he's a good man. And so this, but, but here's where it gets serious at now. Okay. When your man start liking the pictures of other women. That's when it start to get serious because it's going to start with a like and then it might start with another like and another like. Then it's going to go to a DM. The DM might start innocent. Oh, wow. Amazing uh, tiger. You got the pet. What city was that in? I would love to take my girlfriend there. He might even take that angle. So when you read that message, you're like, oh, well, he told her about me. He know that no woman don't care about him having no girlfriend if she's single and thirsty and want her man. You hear me? Because it's way, because he knows it's so many women that side chicks, 
that's playing the other role because this week it'll be I'm gonna I want to take my girlfriend to that zoo where you pet that Tiger King at and then a month from now it'll be you know I've been following you for some time now and I just really respect the woman that you are my girlfriend and I broke up and 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 you and you sitting right next to him you laying down on the couch my girlfriend and I broke up and it's really helping me appreciate good women now and and then there it go started out slow had to ease his way in because see when he told her he got a girlfriend or a wife she dropped her guards because she's like oh, okay he taken so he's just a nice guy he's just a nice man but then and you know what women do the same thing i done seen women do the same thing women will come in my dm talking about their boyfriend and their husband and they'll be so ready to cheat on they'll cheat on that man in a heartbeat for an upgrade because the man ain't doing right anyway so she's looking for a replacement but she know if she come to a married man and say she got a man then I'm not going to, she think I'm not going to assume nothing. I know better than that. So this is what's happening. So absolutely, that like, let me tell you what that like is. Depending on the type of man you have. If you got a grown boy, that like is, that's like, this a, this a, this a booty cheek right here. That's what that like is like. That's what that like is. If now, if you got a, a a grown man, a man that you consider a good man, that like is like this right here. Kiss on the forehead. That's what that like is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, although it looked like this on oh, no, that Facebook. Yeah, although it looked like that. What this is? This love. This love. They could did a thumbs up. Okay, they could have did a, a peace sign. What they did, love. So you know what this mean? Love. It mean that you finna, you getting it started. It mean I love this. But see, when a man like a woman post, it mean I love you. You hear me? My sister was showing me, my sister was showing me on her Facebook, her story. She posted a story and a guy wrote her, I need you in my life. She don't know the man from a can of paint. She posted a story the other day. He wrote back, I love you. And he wrote back, I love you. He done wrote that a few times. And she said, I just, I don't understand how a man can even say this. Like, how even, what does this even mean? I don't even know this person. And, but that's how men are. Now, that man who write my sister probably got a girlfriend. Because you know why? You won't find too many men that's 100% single. It, most of the time you meet a man, he coming out of something. Or he got a situation ship or he on a break but a hundred percent single man that ain't talking to no woman romantically it's a it's a lot less of those okay it's a lot less of those and and you know it because that's all y'all ask me about why I keep attracting unavailable men why I keep attracting men who married men who got a girlfriend men who got a fiance men who Got a baby mama, man, who in a situation. Why do I keep? Because that's the numbers today. So that's why you got to work on yourself to continue to elevate so you get to that level of the honest, faithful, good men and, and could get beyond the riffraff. So this man on here, on this social media, when he liking them pictures, let me tell you the pictures that's okay for him to like, all right? Michelle Obama pictures. If he liked Michelle Obama pictures, that's something that's totally different because she unreachable. She unreachable. You're not going to get a DM. You're not going to get a date. She's not going to see you and think you cute and want to cheat on Barack for you. It, that's okay. Oprah, same thing. Okay. Uh, anybody else? Any other woman? He think he got a shot. In other one, Beyonce, that's different. But see, Beyonce is a um, sex symbol. She put she the way she put them clothes on for them outfits for them uh, concerts. She wanna portray a lustful object. She objectifies herself with 
you know, the booty cheeks jiggling and hanging out that bathing suit when she up there. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, and during whatever halftime show or whatever show, every man watching that, lusting. Point blank period. Okay, I don't care if it's your pastor, I don't care if it's your pope, I don't care if it's your pa I can't even look at it. When it when Beyonce on, I got to go in the kitchen and get some chips and dip because I'm not even going to affect my spirit like that. Uh, anybody up there in them scantily clad outfits. So that's what you got to understand. That's the difference. So now, if he liking a picture of a woman that you may think he can't get access to, like for example, it's women who have like my posts that have over 5 million followers on Instagram. You would think that they wouldn't know who I am because our following is so different. You would think that I wouldn't be able to talk to them because our, cause they on a mega level. You see what I mean? So it's like men have this thing that they believe they can get this woman that's on this reality show. This woman that's a supermodel. If they like enough pictures, because when she goes to her notifications, she's going to see your man in her notification. Once she see him three times, she going to his page because she human. She going to his page. She going to look at his pictures. If she loose and not, she ain't got to be loose. But if she just want to be nice, if she want to flirt bike and she see he posts a deep quote or he reading a book to the children, to the kindergartners, guess what? She going to like that picture. When she, if she go back on his page and like that picture, whew, it's a wrap for Nito. For Nito, it's a wrap. It's finna go down in the DM. Believe me when I'm telling you, it's going down in the DM. Do not sleep on that. Boy, these men mad with me right now. They mad with me. Hey, just long you don't jump froggy, or you will get laid down. Keep it on me. So don't get froggy. Ooh, they mad. Boy, listen here. But listen, I'm here to expose these grown boy games because we need real relationships. We need healthy relationships. We need real bonds. And see, that's what social media does. Social media will expose your weak relationship. Social media. See, the problem is not social media. It's your raggedy relationship. You didn't have nothing to begin with. Y'all don't have a real bond. Y'all don't have real love. And that's why social media is causing problems. It's driving a wedge. So listen, if he follows women, the only women a man should be following is women who inspire him, motivate him, like push his life forward. So what I mean by that is follow Joyce Meyer. Okay. Follow, uh, and I'm not stamping her. I'm just saying she preached the word. She going to post scriptures. So he that might be his daily devotional. He might have her devotional book. Okay. Follow Michelle Obama. So you see what a wife is and what a wife looks like to a man living his purpose and, you know, being an upstanding good man. See what type of woman stand beside that type of man. So you could be that kind of man. And then your woman learn and grow and be that type of woman y'all be a power couple in your own community see follow michelle obama joyce meyer okay people like that if it's somebody who is um inspires you to greatness a star athlete like a serena williams or one of the WNBA players you know not at the same time he could be attracted to these women but they out of reach so that's different now, when he when he following Loose Booty 901, and that's her at name, when he following Loose Booty 901, that when you go to this woman page, you see just all kind of provocativity. I'm talking about you seeing all kind of hams, jiggling, you seeing all kind of skin out. All the pictures is from the side view or from the back. 
he got and he and it's your boyfriend he got to get rid of that he got to unfollow that not still he's still gonna search your name so okay you get hold of that phone you click that search you'll be able to see what he's been searching but now he didn't watch the video he finna search and then delete his searches okay so that's finna be out the window but at least when he unfollow her he don't have to see her on his timeline and be tempted every day but if he following her if you call him i say why are you following her like what does she do for your timeline like what does she do for your feed is she feeding your spirit like how like i follow tony gaskin because what he posts feed my spirit now why you following loose booty 901 because do you want me to follow go over here and follow you know big d 305 because if you don't want me to follow big d 305 why you following loose booty 901 now when he say i don't care you follow big d 305 you follow him all you want to all you want to follow him that ain't your man that ain't your man if he tell you it's okay for you to follow big d 305 that ain't your man go on about your business relationship old relationship old because he's saying i don't care prostitute yourself prostitute yourself sell yourself go out there give into all the lust you want to lust after these other men i don't care if he finna be in your dm i don't care if you finna be on your bike with him Hey, go right ahead because I'm over here. Whoo, I'm over here on Luke Buddha 901. Okay. If your man tell you that, relationship old. Relationship old. Listen to him. My wife, she don't follow no men on Instagram. You know, she follow bloggers, fashion bloggers, women that she know. You know, some of the women might be provocative and stuff online. That's be and she followed them because they my client, like because they talk to me, and so they follow her and she follow them, and they might post stuff that's a little racy or what have you. But she don't follow no men. And the only time we was going through our follow list, she was following a guy, a white guy. She didn't know it was an accident because she just was probably on his fashion page and hit the button. But she don't follow no men. And I asked why you don't follow no men. Like, why you don't follow, you know, these pastors, these preachers? She like, because I'm in the industry. Like, I'm with you. I know the real about these guys behind closed doors because I know it from you. And I don't want to follow these men. And I live with you. So I don't want to listen to their relationship advice. Like, I don't need relationship advice. My relationship good. So why don't I follow them for? And it was some relationship coaches that try to follow her unfollow her follow her unfollow her and she noticed and she showed me she's like this 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 clown follow me unfollow me follow me unfollow me i don't know she's like i guess he's trying to get my attention so i'll follow him back and not realizing why am i gonna follow you when i'm with the man my husband i'm not gonna follow you so that's her mentality guess what when i got on instagram I said the same thing. I follow one person on Instagram. The reason why is because it's a picture site. And I remember women saying, oh, you want us to follow you, but then you only want to follow your wife. And I said, I never asked you to follow me. I ain't, you ain't, you go down my whole timeline. You don't see one post say, follow me, please. So if you follow me, hopefully it's because it's something that I add to your life what do you add to my life other than selfies why am i gonna follow you so why am i gonna follow women when women post selfies and i'm married so what is me looking at another woman's selfie gonna do for me and i don't need to read nobody quotes because i don't i don't go to instagram for that if that's one of your sources for your inspiration then good for you god bless you but me that's not I, I'm, I'm supping with the Lord because I'm a minister because I got to be speaking. I don't get my inspiration the same way other people do. I ain't knocking you for that. And that's why you maybe follow me because something that I can add to your life. Now, if it's something you can add to my life on a site that's not a picture site. So if you got a YouTube 
and it's something that I need to learn about credit repair filing taxes you know some you do cooking recipes I subscribe to you why because it's not a picture site where you just posting selfies and whatnot so I follow one woman and that's my wife and so and the reason why is because I understand the dangers of social media and I understand that it's not a game I understand that it's a playing field it is a playing field but it is not a game it's serious your relationship is on the line and so this is the thing when you follow somebody online it need to be for a reason either you know this person in real life and and or they do something for you they add something to your life they got this they, they got something they saying something they showing something that you are interested in okay if that's not the case then you shouldn't be following the person online male or female because it's just adding jump to your timeline so with 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 your man what you gotta ask is okay what did this person add to your life oh this is my friend from high school okay cool did y'all ever date have anything going on yeah we used to date okay unfollow you can't be following your exes if you already with your nexus you can't be following your exes if you with your nexus point blank period you 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 foul you out of line okay this other thing when you in a relationship and when you become exclusive when you in a relationship and you become exclusive and it's y'all y'all all the way in guess what that's a time and period that if somebody being 100 percent faithful they won't have a problem giving you their password a, a, a honest man will actually say hey here's my password because i know the kind of games that's played on social media and i know that it's a lot of men cheating on their woman on social media and i know that i used to be that man and play those games so here go my password i'm giving this to you so that my social media is not forbidden fruit you can check it out anytime you want to and 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 people holler about privacy it's like privacy like what you what what you doing like what kind of what you in the cia like what what kind of private what, what privacy what you talking to an old man in your dm about what about what you about what you want to do to him like what kind of privacy you need like you ain't you ain't top secret oh that's my privacy you want to invade my privacy oh i can't have no pri oh you know what i can't even be in this relationship because i already see i already see what kind of woman you is you insecure you know what you need to help it's ray write that show insecure because that's what you is you need to be on hbo too so he'll try to put that on you but listen ain't no privacy if you if if this your wife if you see this is your wife now if you see her as a placeholder okay this coaster she's just holding a place right now okay that you can sit on and let and sweat on let all your conversation fall on her forehead if that's all she is okay you need your privacy so you could shoot your shots so you can meet your other women so you could you know talk to your little boyfriend because a lot of y'all men batting from both sides of the plate today that's why you need your privacy but listen to me if this your wife if y'all building for marriage if y'all dating intentionally then guess what you don't need no password you don't need no code you put the code on your phone in case you lose it a stranger can't get in your phone but your other half should have your code and your passwords. You know why I give my wife all my codes and my passwords? Because if something happened to me, I want her to be able to log in there and it might be somebody that I'm cool with, but I'm not on the phone with. She may need to make a post. Unfortunately, you know, my husband has, um, you know, had a slip and fall and hurt his knee i ain't gonna speak nothing on me most i could speak on me is a hurt knee okay she may need to make a post for me while i'm in there you know give him a little 
I'm a little drip in the IV. Okay. It may be something to where she need to run my page for me or, or, or do something. You see? So she got all my passwords because guess what? It's it's certain things like TuneCore when you put music out. Um, she got the password. She know my password so that any and every site she could go to that if she need to go to if the Lord need to have a meeting with me she know how to continue to run the business she'll know how to send out the emails to to the students on Tony Gaston's Academy keep the courses going keep everything flowing so the house could still be fed in addition you see what I mean so that's what you do when you in a real relationship with your life partner, when you see this as your wife, that's what a real man going to do. He's going to include his woman in everything. Ain't no, this me over here, this my privacy. No, ain't none of that. Me and my wife got a joint account. And, and I said wife, now I ain't said girlfriend. So yes, it is a difference between wife and girlfriend. But what I'm saying is, if this man sees you as his wife and that's where he know he going, and he know that without a shadow of a doubt, then you're going to get some wife benefits as a girlfriend. Me and my wife got a joint account, and that's where every dime go. Every dime go there. She got her own personal account because that's where her pay goes from the joint account. I got my own personal account because that's where if I need to buy her something, like Mother's Day coming up, so I transfer money to my personal account, so I go when I buy it, she can't see what site it's coming from. So it's still a surprise. That's the only purpose of our personal accounts. Everything else is joint. You hear what I'm saying? And so that's what a man who is all the way with you, for one, he going to let every other woman know, you ain't got nothing on my woman. You ain't got nothing on my woman. You know, I have, I have female clients that I'm close to in the sense of they do a lot of sessions they could text me, ask me a random question about business. It ain't nothing, hey, how you doing, shooting the breeze like friends. It's always about business. But guess what? If they text me after a certain time of night, I could be on my phone and I look at that text and let it sit there. Just to let them know, on text women, all no kind of time of night. Okay? Unless it's some emergency, got to get off, got to get done, deadline tomorrow or something like that. That different. But guess what? My wife got my code. She could read any and everything on my phone. You hear what I'm telling you? So, I remember when I used to leave my laptop home. And I'd be texting on iMessage. It popping up on my laptop. So, she's sitting at the house reading the messages. That's how she knew what I was saying. What was being said to, to my female clients. And it's transparency. It's transparency. So, listen to me. Don't feel dumb for expecting or wanting transparency. Don't feel dumb for that. Like, now, yes, technically, before you're married, there should be, before you're married, there is privacy. Y'all are two individuals. When you're married, the two become one. So if you marry, there is no privacy. There is no privacy, okay, when you married. You won. You won. I need to know the inner workings of my wife's entire body. She need to know the inner workings of my entire body. You know, every pain point, every issue, every insecurity, you won because you teammates and that's how you build and that's why you got to be careful that you marry a teammate and not a secret opponent. Be careful. Now... But here's the thing, in dating, I don't condone and you'll hear me say, you his girlfriend. So you don't get wife benefits. You don't expect wife benefits. But see, the caveat to that is if he sees you as his wife, he can give you wife benefits. You can't expect it. You can't demand it because you're a girlfriend. You a boyfriend, that's a trial period. That's why a woman should not be giving a boyfriend husband benefits. So see, here's the thing. Typically, 
typically, not all the time, but typically women are faithful. So a woman wants to have complete transparency here. Hey, here's my code just in case, you know, something ever happens to me or you can you can get into my phone and text my mom, text my dad if, if we need them for whatever reason. Um, I have low blood sugar. So if I kind of like get faint and I'm passing out, you can get in my phone and you can text my mom and my dad or my sister, call my doctor. And so the woman won't complete transparency because she has no intentions of cheating. She has no intentions of hiding anything. Then she's sitting over there and she thinking after she finished her spiel that he's going to say, Oh yeah, that's a, that's hey, you know what? That's really smart, you know. So here's my here's the code to my phone. Okay, 6969. And she thinking she finna hear that and he's like, "Oh, okay. Thank you. All right. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Def definitely got you." And she said over there like Uh, so yeah, like, and so you like with your phone or whatever, like you don't think I'll ever need to call your mom or dad or anything like that. Would I, he like, Oh, no, oh, dude, mm -mm. I don't have any low blood sugar and everything. I got a perfect bill of health. So yeah. So she's sitting there and see this is the thing you'll start to think like, mm, what well, am I being insecure? Am I being immature? No, you're not. It's just that his life ain't clean yet. That, that point blank period. Point blank period. That's just all. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. His life ain't clean yet. Life ain't clean yet. I hate to tell you that. I hate to tell you that. And I know it's gonna be men talking. About, I gotta have my privacy. This is my privacy. I'm 100% faithful to my woman, and just because she don't have my code to my phone, don't mean I'm not faithful. You need to stop pushing this agenda. You out here destroying relationship, boy. Shut up. You ain't fooling me, man. Go on somewhere, Satan. Get thee behind me, Satan. Get thee behind me. Shut that mess up. Come on now. Who you think you talking to, bro? Come on. I've been out there. On a whole nother level than you. Way deeper than you in the game. Boy, believe me. You hear me? Way deeper. I had a, a team of women. You hear me? If your woman can't have your password, you up to something. That you ain't supposed to be up to. On your social media, on your phone. Point blank period. Don't, and, and it might not be another woman. Uh-huh. It might be a man. Take it up with the Lord. But you ain't fooling me. We out here doing the Lord's work. So so do me this favor here, playboy. If you don't want her, let her go. So another man can have her. Somebody else looking for their wife, you holding a hostage. You holding a hostage while you playing your games on social media. While you out here want to be ha have your D in the dirt, out here squandering your life. You out here want to waste people time. You messing up your harvest. If you can't be honest with the woman, open with the woman, 100% faithful to the woman, then let the woman go so she can live her life. Because obviously she's not your wife. Obviously she's not the one that you want. So let her go so that you could go on out here and find you somebody. But listen to me. Stop trying to play that game, being immature, grown boy, and get your life together. And so listen to me now, ladies, if your man, that point blank period, y'all, guess what? I was that man. Them first two years of marriage, I ain't give my wife my password because I wasn't all the way ready yet. I, I'm like, hmm, hmm. I had a trial period in my mind. I'm like, hmm, is this thing going to work? They say 60% of marriages in our age group fail in the first five years so do i need to keep these options open oh yeah the devil was right there on my shoulder talking to me oh yeah hey when i when i got on twitter that first year 2009 i ain't post nothing about my wife 
I ain't pulled nothing about my wife, and and that's how I learned because I evaluated my heart. I said, why you ain't posting your wife? It was it was the devil saying, you don't know who you gonna meet. What if you get out here? You done got on. You getting on Twitter? You just went on Oprah and Tyra Bank. Hey, my boy, what if such and such available to you? Okay, you gonna leave this small town young lady and, and elevate? Come on now, leave some room. But guess what? God had to get me. Had to get me. Had to get me in line and say no, no, play boy. Get your life together. Get your life together. You want me to pour out in your life? You want me to bless you? You're going to have to be in right standing. Because I can't bless mess. Your heart messy. Yes, you ain't did nothing yet. But you planning to. I can't bless mess. There's a difference between potential and production. That's what my college football coach used to say. And that's what God said to me. Look, you got potential to be a great man. To be a servant to the people. For me to pull out and bless you and your family. But you need to produce. And if your heart ain't in the right place. I can't bless that. Because if I bless you in that state. You're going to stay in that state. And you're going to get complacent. And then you're going to fall on your face in sin. See that's what the Lord will let you know. So see the Lord will let you struggle. So you got a good conscience. My boy. You think you're a good man. That's why you ain't realizing your dreams because your heart's not really in the, in the right place. That's why God ain't open up the floodgates of heaven for you because your heart not in the right place. So you got to show yourself approved. You got to prove yourself and show that you could be trusted, show that you consistent, show that you can show that you good ground, that you good soil. See, God going to sow seed on good soil. It, God ain't God knows. He's not going to bless you. If you're not blessable, if you're not in the right place, people all the time, oh, God, a blessed mess. That's a lie. You got to be in right standing with the Lord. And then you say, well, why people who live in wrong getting blessings? Those not blessings. Those are snares. They working for the adversary. They work for Satan. OK, and he controls their money, their opportunities, because his minions are the gatekeepers of those industries, the television networks, the, the record labels. It's the devil people that's at the that's the gatekeepers. So if you got somebody that they heart ain't in the right place, they into the nasty movies, they into, you know, cheating, lying, deceiving, they trying to use the name of the Lord to advance themselves. Guess what? God know they fake. So God not gonna bless them. You know who going to bless them? Satan. Because Satan going to say, oh, let, hey, open up this TV show for you. Here go a TV show for you. <laughs> hey, keep watching them nasty movies like you've been doing, but yet saying the name of the Lord. <laughs> Here go a TV show. Oh, let me partner you with Oprah. <laughs> Got my people over here in, in, in those circles too. Here you go. <laughs> hey, keep watching them nasty movies. Keep cheating on your wife. <laughs> and keep saying the name of the Lord and making people think you're a Christian. <laughs> I'm going to go on elevate you, okay? And then when I get you to the top, <laughs> I'm sending loose booty 901. <laughs> you finna fall for her. Guess what? She got receipts. Guess what? You at the top and you been saying the name of the Lord. <laughs> Guess what? It's finna be millions of people lose faith in God because of you. Because you been saying the name of the Lord and you ain't living right. And you've been claiming God's blessing, but all the while, this been me. <laughs> That's what the adversary over there saying. You see what I'm saying? So this what happened to these grown boys. They getting on their social media and they see men who ain't living right, who not married and faithful. They seeing this and they seeing these men with money. So they saying, oh, if this man got all kind of women and he a millionaire, then what do I need to be faithful for? What am I being faithful for? This obviously a way to go. This a way to make it. So he want to be pole pimping on his level. He broke, busted, and disgusted, looking like who shot John and forgot to kill him. And he want to be pole pimping from that state because he see millionaires still pimping. See, that's the issue. That's why social media dangerous because he get on social media and he see all these clips. 
A lady sent me a clip today, a boy doing a skit. Old ignorant young man, just perpetuating terrible cycle, trying to get a laugh and, can't, and ain't even funny. And the boy did a skit of telling the woman he don't ever want to go on a date with her, don't ever want to see her again because she was saving herself till marriage. Just ignorant stuff like that. But guess what? A grown boy will see that and be like, yes, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, I'm glad you made that skit, man. Cause I'm, I'm tired of these HOs out here talking about they saving themselves to marry. Because they up here listening to old Tony Gaskins. They listening to him. And then they talking about they saving themselves to marry. And I'll be honest with you, the skit literally looked like something I done said. Y'all know how sometimes I be doing my little interaction. Y'all be like, Tony, you need to do a movie. Or Tony, you need to do this. It literally looked like the boy watched my video, took the scenario what I'm teaching, and then made a skit about it. That's literally what it looked like. And somebody uh, sent it to me. People sent it to me on um, Instagram. Pure ignorance. Pure ignorance. Pure stupidity. And that's what the devil will have idiots doing. Pushing this toxic agenda that's breaking down society. That's why that social media, it does way more to your relationship than just hitting likes and sending dms the videos you watching the posts you seeing all of that affects relationship and if you got you a grown boy this how you know you got your grown boy when he following women that ain't got nothing to do with his life that ain't co-workers it ain't friends from high school he don't even know the woman he just bumped into her with a booty out in a bathing suit all down doing a, a shoot for a nasty magazine and he gonna follow her and he following all these half naked women. Don't bit more norm than a can of paint. Guess what? That's how you know you got a grown boy. If he liking their pictures, that's how you know you got a grown boy. If he arguing and debating and fussing and fighting for the right to like the random women pictures, that's how you know you got a grown boy. He in the DM with these random women, that's how you know you got a grown boy. Social media means something. Social media ain't just funny games. Social media means something. That's how men shooting they shot. That's how men getting in the game. That's how women shooting they shot. That's how women getting in the game. That's, today, social media is the club. It's the schoolhouse. It's the courtyard. What you used to call it in college, the courtyard or the quad or whatever it was where everybody hang out. That's what social media is today for grown folks. So it's a lot going down in them DMs, okay? It's a lady who, uh, probably in her 50s, Caucasian lady, married, got a husband, sent me a video, Bear Vajay. So I get the video, so I'm like, okay. Caucasian, that's I, that's not a small percentage of my demographic. Okay, in her 50s or 60s, looked at, you know, 50s or 60s. So I'm saying, okay, what this woman want with me? Because this is a small percentage of my demographic. Yes, I have some clients that are white female in their 50s and in their 60s. I do. So I'm not foreign to it, but it's a small percentage. I go to the DM. It's a video. I click the video. It's bare naked Vijay with little whiskers on it. And the camera pan around it and give a full area. I said, what? That thing floored me. I say, I wonder if she meant to send. I say, is her husband named Tony? But why would she do that to her husband? I don't, that thing confused me. I say, maybe it's her side man name start with a T, and she went to send it and accidentally hit my name, or is she sending this to me and thinking I'm gonna see her as a a trophy and want to shoot my shot? I'm like, this part of her fetish, like she just want to get this out of her system before she go meet the Lord. Like, what's going on? Yeah, social media ain't no playground. I had to tell my wife about it. I told my wife about it. I told my daddy about it because that's in his age group. 
I say, man, look what the other your other senior citizens doing. He will blow it away. He will blow it away. I say, listen, don't tell your wife about this now, but look what's going on out here. The world is real. So guess what? Your man in that DM, you know what these men doing now? What these men doing today on social media? Oh, it's getting real. It's getting real. What these men doing today on social media? And this crossed the board. It's so many of them. What they could do is they cash apping these women, PayPal in these women, and these women sending them naked pictures to the Instagram DM that disappear, to the Snapchat that disappear. Okay, the transgenders, the cisgenders, these ones out here, not the ones, not the ones who done went all the way through with the surgery, but the ones who they are man and they still got okay dangling down there still got it down there but they dress like a woman talk like a woman walk like a woman do all that like a woman it's a lot of them that's out here working and they charging these men for videos nasty videos nasty pictures doing whatever and there's so many men into this in this society right now this society is being controlled by perm, okay? Saying it a little different so the system don't catch it. Nasty movies. This society, these men today is gone on that nasty. So you, when you meet a man, you got to look within. And you got to pay attention closely. And you got, because cause I hear some men bragging about being abstinent and bragging about being a virgin. But they ain't bragging about not dealing with Angela. Oh, brag about that. They ain't bragging about not watching nasty movies. Oh, brag about that. Oh, let me hear about that. Oh, you ain't sleep with no women, but you watching nasty movies. And with that with that Jergens lotion with Angela. Oh, you just as bad. Yeah, you can't have no baby that way. Yeah, you can't get no STD there, but you defiling your spirit. You vexing your spirit. You, so you just going to be just as much as a hot mess of the man who out here actually touching stuff physically. You're going to be just as much as a lost hot mess because you into the nasty movies and Angela. So, hey, brag about that. Beat that too. Beat that too. Then, come on, let's talk about what this real manhood and out here making a living the honest way and living your dream, living your best life. Then, let's talk about that. But go on, keep fighting a good fight. Get past Hansela. Get past them nasty movies. Get out that DM, flirting and cheating. Get out that DM, okay? Stop liking all these naked pictures, all these bad booty pictures. Stop liking all these pictures, trying to shoot your shot, hoping this woman recognize you so you can strike up a con of a fake conversation, okay? And get in line and do the right thing. And if you're a woman, don't play with it. Don't play with it. I'm going to tell you, you need to get this here book. If you ain't read Woman Influence, get this here book. I'm going to tell you, this one right here, this one right here will not play with me. You hear me? I can't like no picture. I can't follow because the silent treatment I get, the eyeballs I get, and, and the eyeballs that I will get, and the silent treatment that I get for that 24 to 72 hours, It'll be just to let me know. Just to let me feel her energy. And if I don't catch what she pitching, guess what? Them bags will be piped. She'll be up out of there. And we'll be in somebody's divorce court. Yeah, off of something as simple as me liking naked booty, other booty women pictures and following Loose Booty 901 on social media. You know why? Because if you multiply it by three, what I tell you, if you multiply that little action that you calling that y'all calling simple and trivial and don't mean nothing, you multiply it by three, it'll be the end of your relationship. Hey, this is Tony Gaskin. Social media real, my people. God bless you. We'll talk soon.